Peggy 12. Hello, everybody. I'm Scott Amos, executive producer for Lara Croft, The Temple of Osiris, here to introduce our newest dev diary. Last time around, we met some of our design team as well as our new characters in Lara's latest four-player adventure. We also focused on the cooperation and competition mayhem that comes with four simultaneous players. Today, we're here to talk about one of the defining pillars and a fan favorite of this franchise, puzzles. We're lucky to have with us our lead level designer and the puzzle design guru of both Guardian of Light and Temple of Osiris, Jeff Wages. Amos. Wages. Yeah, it's a thrill for me to be on the Lara Croft franchise. As you mentioned, I was on Guardian of Light, and when this chance came up at Crystal, I was excited to jump back into it. There are a lot of things I learned from Guardian of Light and from my work on Tomb Raider in 2013 that I was eager to bring over to Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris. And I had a few new ideas for puzzles that we can only do now with our latest mechanics in our four-player design. Which is kind of Jeff's way of saying that when you get stuck or frustrated at some of these crazy things he's come up with, you can please address all of your hate mail to him. Nah, they'll be fine. It's never about punishing the player. We place a huge emphasis on visual language to make sure that the puzzles are communicating themselves to the player. After that, they can cooperate and experiment and work until they find their own aha moment that solves the puzzle. Which is, you know, honestly for us, that's the fun, to see people get through this game, to play it front to back, to see everything. And the game is fully playable in single player. And co-op, people need to work together though, right? Since we have two different classes, we split up their skill sets, so then we have these custom cooperative puzzles. As we said from our last diary, we've got archaeologists and gods. I'll let Jeff talk a little bit about their skills, but certainly having these characters that have different things. Jeff, give us a few examples of how these guys work together and the kind of things they can do. Sure, so the, the grapple line is a returning feature from Guardian Light. It gains a, a powerful ability with four players in that each player is their own grapple point, so you can maneuver in a lot of new and exciting ways. The Egyptian gods bring the Staff of Osiris to the table, which shoots a beam of light which solves puzzles and can manipulate anything in the world that has these glyphs of Osiris baked onto them. So even like, you know, when you had Toltec and Lara, where you had kind of these two different classes that were split up in the last game, right? Now we're talking about having, you know, these kind of puzzles where people not only have to work together, but even on the timing side of it. We talked about it with the last playtest. We watched people playing, saying, okay, I'm going to hold the staff, one, two, three, and then they let go too early. Their friend jumps across, dies in the pit of spikes. Those seem like those great kind of cooperative puzzles that we're kind of striving for. Exactly. It's one of the fun challenges of designing puzzles that can scale from one players to four players. We try to add new interactive elements as more players enter the game. One of the simple examples that you'll see here is that in single player, Laura must manipulate the mirrors to destroy the rifts in Duat using the Staff of Osiris. Whereas in co-op, one of the gods must use their staff to lower this platform while Lara manipulates the mirror, and then another one shoots the, the staff to destroy the rifts. And it's just one example without giving too much away. And I know we have one particular snake boss called Apep that you'd put together, so you want to tell us a little bit about that guy? So yeah, this is Apep. He had rather humble beginnings. It was me, the designer, who first modeled and animated him and threw him into the game. And the first prototypes had these weak spots on his back that only the Staff of Osiris could affect. And then even after single player, I remember we had actually done it once where you had bunches of mirrors around the level and then for multiplayer you started upgrading that a little differently. So we had this rough version that works with one players and then we had to, how do we make it scale up for two players, three players, four players? How do we balance the puzzle elements with the combat? It's really taking these really bare bone ideas and iterating through them with the rest of the team to bring it to its full fruition. It's important with these types of action puzzles and bosses that the player should know immediately what they need to do, and the real challenge comes from executing and working together to get that done. And that's where all the, the fun and hilarity ensues. Having a hand and a voice in everything that we build, we can make pretty extensive changes in a short time, kind of like the Oracle's chamber area. Sure. We do a bunch of internal and external playtesting. This is one area where we really felt the need to inject a, a new flavor, a new theme into the game. So here's where we highlighted one of the elemental effects that hadn't gotten a lot of attention yet from us, which is poison. And this gave our artists an excuse to go crazy with the green, and the designers reauthored the combat to focus on poison. We took one of our highest rated challenge tombs from later in the game and uh, gave it a poison flavor and installed it here as a puzzle gateway to the Oracle. Which, I mean, clearly from the playtests after we've done the change, boosted up both the experience, the puzzle experience in that area, and introduce the unique combat that the Oracle area has with all the flashier and dramatic touches and lighting effects, even that eerie kind of creepy aura that we managed to put in there throughout. So everyone, we hope you enjoyed another sneak peek into some of the new puzzle elements coming in Lara Croft, Temple of Osiris. Thank you, Wages, for walking us through what it takes to build some of these crazy puzzles. We're super excited to put the finishing touches on Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris. You can all play it on December 9th, 2014 on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. See you all online.